Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Baba Jesha returns to his first love. Earlier today, the Ikeja Special Offenses Court has adjourned Baba Jesha's trial to September 27th. Baba Jesha has been charged with alleged defilement of a minor. The trial was supposed to hold today, on Wednesday, August 11th. But then due to the absence of the presiding judge, Justice Uluwato in Taiwo, who is currently attending a judge retreat alongside other members of the legal state judiciary. The registrars at our court, however, informed the correspondent that the new trial date has been communicated to all the parties. Baba Jesha was arraigned on June 24th and he was charged with six counts bordering on defilement of a minor. The prosecution led by Mrs. Olainka Adeyemi, the legal state director of public prosecutions, has so far presented two witnesses for this persecution. The first persecution witness was the popular comedian and actress Mrs. Damlola Dekoya, who we popularly know as Princess, and she's also the foster mom of the 14 years old minor. All the second persecution witness was the minor herself. The two persecution witnesses testified against their battle Juba actor at the last court proceedings, which was held on July 27th. And according to the chat, the defender committed the offenses in 2013, 2014, and on April 19th at Iwaya, part of Yaba area of Lagos State. And today, his case has been adjourned to September 27th. The DPP told the court, sometimes between 2013 and 2014, the defendant sexually assaulted the complainant, name we told, then age 7, by inserting his car keys into a private. He also placed her on his lap, touching her in a sexual manner, and rubbed his private on her body. On April 19, he indecently treated and sexually assaulted the complainant, now 14 years old, by sucking her fingers and touching her in a sexual manner. He also attempted to have sexual intercourse with the complainant by, by unbuckling his belt and unzipping his trousers after sexually assaulting her. The offense the prosecution said, contravened the provisions of sections 135259. 262, 263, and 262 of the Criminal Law of Lagos State 2015. Meanwhile, Baba Jesha has resumed acting as he returns to movie location and missed his ongoing trial. He revealed this in an interview with a radio station, Odo FM 90.9, in Ilefe Ocean State. He described acting as his first love. While Nigerians have been reacting to this news of Baba Jesha returning to movie location and resuming acting, and people are saying that many should learn from these mistakes to avoid a bitter experience. There have been massive reactions to him resuming set. Some are saying, you see it after you talk from prison. And another person said, let everybody see what they like, we still love you always. Some other people are calling him the word rapist. Well, there have been mixed reactions. We'll be bringing you an update on Baba Jesus' case on September 27th. Previously, Princess had given an account on how she groomed Baba Jesha and registered him for adult lessons. In her words, I met Alara Wadu James Omi Baba Jesha in 2008 after an event I went to. And after the event, two of his peers, personal assistants, said it would be nice for us to do a comedy skit together. She said that Baba Jesha later came to her and requested for a content, which she reluctantly gave him to schedule time and place for the comedy skit production. And she said this was because our own side of entertainment Hollywood was classier that if I'm sure I did be available for the skit, I should give him my number. She told the court that some persons came to her the same day to tell her that Baba Jesha really admires her, but she warned them to tell him not to blow the opportunity. Princess mentioned that they had a meeting concerning the comedy skit and they apologized for making advances at her. Then she narrated that she got close to the actor afterwards, especially after marriage crashed in the year 2013 and when she collapsed months after undergoing a surgery. She said Baba Jisha came around to offer support at her residence and months later, he called her to tell her that he was experiencing similar marital problems with his wife and begged her to intervene. She said the actor told her that his wife left because he wasn't educated and she said she tried to talk to his wife, but she refused to be reconciled with him. In her words, when I went to London, I called his wife. Immediately, I mentioned his name. She said she didn't have anything to do with him. The comedian then claimed that she supported Baba Jisha's education, registered him at a lesson known for grooming students so that he can get more visibility. She also said she introduced him to her colleagues in the comedy industry and checked up on him when he gained admission into the University of Lagos Unilag. But then he wasn't showing up for his classes. And she also claimed that Baba Jisha sexually assaulted her foster daughter when he came to support her prince after that major surgery in the year 2013. She explained that her daughter, the alleged victim, opened up to her some months ago and she said proud to that time 
she had noticed that her daughter was not doing well in school. In her words, well, that weekend, she seemed a bit distracted, but by Monday in school, they had a test. She was an A student and she went from 90% to 20%. We advised to engage in extracurricular activities. She also recalled that around 2019, when she and her colleagues were on a bus to Ilori, capital of Quara State, he looked at her daughter in 2019 and said, my small wife that ran away. She explained that her daughter told her that the sexual assault occurred when she princess was recovering from the surgery in 2013. And she said that she left a bad with her daughter when she went to see her aunt who came visiting. Princess said her daughter told her that when I got to where he was sitting, he asked me to remove my pants and remove his trousers. He told me to sit on him and I continued until something like water splashed on me. And when they heard the gates closed, he said he told me to clean up and not all you. And she said the second allegation molestation took place when Babadish had bought some fruits for her Princess, and she told her daughter to go downstairs and collect it from the actor. Her daughter said he inserted his car keys into her private and she said she felt a kind of pain. She said when she saw him in the lorry, everything became clear to her. Princess said she then devised a plan to set up a CCTV and hope about it have a business discussion at her residence. The CCTV and in her words, he started kissing her forcefully and then she tried to grab her phone from her hand. He followed her to the kitchen when I got in. He said he was frustrated. I told him to sit up. He tried zipping his trousers and he was just saying, Princess, please forgive me. It is the devil's work. Princess said the actor confessed that he used his fingernails, not his car keys, in a private part. As she added that Baba Jesha offered her money to kill this matter. Princess also tendered the CCTV camera footage as evidence. And this was admitted by Uluwatu in time with the judge as Exhibit A. On the grounds of the sense, the judge excluded members of the public and journalists from viewing this video evidence. Baba Jesha was arrested in April 22nd and was not granted bail for months. As such, he was at the police custody while the popular Yuba actor in Fabi was fighting for his release. As he says that his offense is a billable offense. And it was not until June 24th that Uluwato in with the judge granted the defendant's bail in the sum of 2 million naira. Mrs. Tawo said bail is a constitutional right and not a discretionary right. He said granting him bail is to release him from the custody of the law and entrust him to appear for trial when required to. In our words, the freedom is temporary in the sense that it lasts only for the period of trial. The defendant is thereby granted bail in the sum of 2 million or 2 shorties and like so. All of the shorts must be a blood relation of the applicant. With clear proof of this relationship, I must be resident in Lagos State. I shall present evidence of having paid income tax in Lagos State in the last three years. The second short he shall be a legal practitioner as suggested by the defense counsel. The shorty shall present evidence of Ba and shall swear oath to affidavit. And today, as Baba Jesha's case has been adjourned to September 27th, Baba Jesha resumes acting. We bring you updates on Baba Jesha's case. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.